The map of Alaska's inner passage is drawn by the force of water in all of its states. Liquid, vapor, and solid. We sailed through the passage in early and mid-July. At Juneau, we set out to see glaciers up close. So we're hiking up to Mindenhall Glacier right now. Climate change is beating the retreat for glaciers all around the world. Mendenhall Glacier has retreated almost two miles since 1910. The glacier's ancient ice has given way to a new lake and a young forest. But alder and willow are going to be the kind of shrubbier trees that begin to grow. They do really well in recently deglaciated areas. We hiked about three miles and climbed nearly a thousand feet up Mount McGinnis to get a really good look at Mendenhall from above. Right up in front of that waterfall, Mendenhall. The lake at Mendenhall's base didn't even exist before 1930. The glacier has been carving it on its retreat up the valley since 1931. The Forest Service expects Mendenhall Glacier to pull completely away from the lake sometime in just the next few years. Our ship was supposed to sail by Sawyer Glacier later that night. But the weather had been unseasonably warm for weeks. The glacier had been calving a lot more than anyone on the crew had expected. We ran into an ice field miles before we ever got anywhere near the glacier. It just wasn't safe to continue. Some of our passengers were aboard an excursion boat. We waited for them as they navigated around the icebergs before picking them up and turning back. And then, like the glaciers, we retreated into the mist and melt waters. <laughs> 